Hello students, welcome to the class. Now we are going to discuss the questions on current electricity. Okay, here we have the questions. Already we have done the synopsis discussion on this. Now we are going to discuss the questions. Okay, say in the circuit shown in the figure, circuit he has given here. Here 6 ohm, 3 ohm, 2 ohm are parallel and this 4 ohm is connected in series with the battery and emitter right okay now his question is the reading of emitter a is his question that means i is equal to question mark 6 ohm 3 ohm 2 ohm they are connected in series sorry they are connected in parallel therefore our formula is here 1 by r is equal to 1 by 6 plus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 2. So by simplifying this, we will get r is equal to 1 ohm. Okay, I hope you are understanding this. Okay, this is. Say, the resistance r is in series with, series with this 4 ohm. This 4 ohm. Now we got the resistance small r, small r, and that r is in series with this. So now series formula I will apply here. So that r is equal to one plus four. Here we got one, and uh, this r is in become series with this four ohm. So that it becomes. 5 right 5 ohm it is now our aim is to find current so current i is equal to v divided by r so current say here current is equal to 2 volt already he has given here 2 volt divided by 5 ohm that is equal to 0 0.4 we will get here 0 0.4 ampere our option is second option right okay next okay say question number two figure shows a current with two cells with two cells here we have two cells in opposition to each other, one cell has an EMF 6 volt, internal resistance 2 volt, and other cell has an EMF 4 volt and 8 ohm internal resistance he has given. The potential difference across the terminals X, Y. Potential difference he is asking here. So, to find the potential difference, we should know, we should know, poten say, we should know the terminal voltage across this cell as well as this cell also. So by getting the terminal voltage across 6 volt as well as 4 volt, by taking the difference of those two, we will get potential difference. Okay, for that, first I will do. See here, since two cells are in opposition, the effective voltage is effective voltage is 6 minus 4 is equal to 2 volt. It is. This is our effective voltage we have here. Right? Now the current in the circuit. Now the current in the circuit is I is equal to current in the circuit I is equal to E divided by R plus small r. Small r stands for internal resistance. So now I will write the value. 2 volt divided by resistance plus internal resistance. Right? That is equal to that is equal to 0 0.2 ampere. This we got. This is what current flows in a circuit. Current in the circuit 0 0.2 ampere. Therefore, now now I will define the terminal voltage across 6 volt cell as well as 4 volt cell. 
terminal voltage across across six volt across six volt here in this cell. Same, this is the direction of if this is the direction of the current flowing. The current flowing from higher side to lower side, positive to negative. So in, that is meaning. Meaning is here the cell is charging here. So during the charging EMF, say terminal voltage V is equal to EMF minus I into R. This is so. Just you substitute EMF six volt minus current point two into internal resistance. Internal resistance two, right? Internal resistance two he has given over here, right? So that by simplifying this, five point six volt we will get here. This is now current flows in this manner. So negative to positive. So now terminal voltage across across four volt becomes. V is equal to again EMF minus EMF instead of minus plus I will write now the cell is discharging here so EMF plus I R that is equal to EMF four volt plus I current two into see current we got right now here point two current we got And internal resistance we have eight here, right? Sorry, uh, that is the internal resistance eight we have, and current we have point two, right? Okay, so by simplifying again we will get here point five point six only. It is five point six volt. Therefore, therefore the potential difference across across x and y is. 5.6 only across x and y is 5.6 right so that our option is 5.6 old potential difference next okay question number 3 Say a voltmeter having a resistance of 1,800 ohm is employed to measure the potential difference across 200 ohm resistor, which is connected to the terminal of DC power supply having an EMF 50 volt, having an EMF 50 volt, and an internal resistance 20 ohm internal resistance. Say a voltmeter having a resistance 1,800 ohm is employed to measure the potential difference across 200 ohm resistance, which is connected. This 200 ohm resistance, which is connected to the terminal of DC power supply having 50 volt to this power supply, this 200 ohm resistance has connected. The internal resistance of that is. 20 ohm. What is the percentage decrease in the potential difference across the 200 ohm resistor as a result of connecting the voltmeter across it? By connecting. So what he is asking? Percentage decrease in the potential difference across the 200 ohm resistor as a result of connecting the voltmeter across it. So by connecting the voltmeter across the 200 ohm resistor, what is the percentage decrease in its? He is asking, right? Okay. Now, just to observe this, here I will write. See, the internal resistance R is equal to 20 ohm. He has given internal resistance. Along with this, along with this, that I want to connect. With the say this internal resistance here R say 
potential difference across 200 ohm r is the what resistor this resistor we are connecting with across the voltmeter that uh, voltmeter resistance is voltmeter resistance is 1800 ohm this is not volts voltmeter resistance it is right 1800 ohm now here i want to find potential difference across across the 200 ohm connected with voltmeter so that so that i is equal to we know this formula so here 50 divided by 50 divided by 200 plus 20 200 plus 20 50 emf already he has given emf divided by r plus r right so this is equal to 5 divided by 22 ampere it becomes once you check it right so now i will write potential difference across 200 ohm across 200 ohm so v is equal to across 200 ohm i am writing here so potential current into resistor resistor how much it is 200 ohm so that this is equal to 500 divided by 11 it is old right okay when when this voltmeter 1800 ohm voltmeter is connected across with the 200 ohm resistor then effective effective resistance is given by see here i will write effective resistance is given by that means they are connected in parallel so 1 divided by 800 1 divided by 1800 plus 1 divided by 200 right okay so here r values which gives r is equal to we will get 180 ohm just you check it this is what effective resistance when the voltmeter of 1800 ohm is connected with 200 right so r is equal to 180 ohm we will get the current in the circuit now becomes the current in the circuit here i will write the current in the circuit becomes now see by after connecting this voltmeter with 200 resistor now the current becomes i is equal to we know the formula right so that 50 divided by how much we got here resistance 180 plus internal 20 this gives 5 divided by 20 it becomes just to check it along with this voltage also v dash i will write this time after connecting uh, this is current and this is voltage potential drop becomes so v dash is equal to v dash is equal to current 5, 20, 5 by 20 into resistance 180 right so this becomes 45 volt right now here we have v dash as well as v v dash as well as v both we have so difference difference is v minus v dash so how much we have v here value of v how much we got 500 divided by v is equal to 500 divided by 11 right minus 45 so that is equal to that is equal to 5 divided by 11 volt this is what potential difference now percentage decrease okay uh, here i will write potential decrease see percentage decrease in the potential difference is to find the percentage 
so just you have to percent for this potential difference so percentage decrease in the potential difference is equal to is equal to 5 divided by 11 into 11 divided by 5000 into percentage 100 so that so that that is equal to 1% your answer so once you also check it whether it is becomes 1% or not so here we got 1% right okay okay what we have done here we have written the given data and uh, effective resistance we have done here first effective resistance we have done so r is equal to 180 we got 180 after this current so current we have done here so current 5 by 12 we got before connecting the voltmeter with voltage down so after connecting potential difference so v is equal to 5 by 22 and finally 500 by 11 we got before connecting after connecting current and potential we got here so potential difference we have done and finally percentage we have done here right so this is the procedure next okay, question number 4 say the deflection in a moving coil galvanometer falls from 5 to sorry 50 to 10 divisions See, deflection is falling from 50 to 10 divisions when a shunt of 12 ohm is connected across it the resistance of the galvanometer the resistance of the galvanometer is denoted by capital g that is equal to question mark right okay let us assume say here deflection is falling from 50 to 10 let us assume if K is the if K is the current sensitivity of galvanometer sensitivity of galvanometer galvanometer then current flowing through the galvanometer IG is equal to how much how much he has given fifty maximum it was. 50, 50 to 10 division it has fall right so ij is 50 take it as equation 1 now when the say question second bit from here it is from here when a shunt of 1 or 12 ohm is connected across 8 when shunt of 12 ohm is connected across 8 resistance what is the resistance is question right when when 12 ohm is connected connected what is the resistance what is the what is the question resistance of the galvanometer right so now again i am going to define current through the galvanometer ig is equal to we know that formula ig yes divided by g plus yes this formula we know so that is equal to by connecting by connecting 12 ohm resistance by connecting 12 ohm resistance to it the deflection falls from 50 to 10 so 10 k i will write k is the what current sensitivity of galvanometer so 50 to 10 k in this manner i have defined this here yes stands for shunt resistance when the shunt resistance is connected to it falling from 50 to 50 to 10 right so just you divide equation 1 by 2 equation 1 by 2 so by dividing 1 by 2 by dividing 1 by 2 g plus s divided by s that is equal to 5 i hope you are getting this by dividing this we will get this so finally capital G is equal to 4 yes we will get here 4 yes yes means shunt resistance 12 he has given so that is equal to 48 ohm we will get right 
so that your option is third option now question number 5 okay a galvanometer resistance 10 ohm gives full deflection when 1 milli ammeter 1 millimeter current passes through it the resistance required to convert it into voltmeter reading say say galvanometer resistance 10 ohm gives full deflection full deflection when it has given the full deflection when 1 millimeter current is passing through it it has given full deflection the resistance required to convert it into voltmeter reading voltmeter reading so our aim is to find resistance how much resistance is required to convert it right okay let r be the resistance required let r be the resistance required to convert it into voltmeter reading now see here see here so in order to convert it into in order to convert it into voltmeter reading up to 2.5 in order to convert it into in order to convert it into up to 2.5 volt up to 2.5 volt the current through the galvanometer is ig is equal to we know the formula 2.5 divided by r plus g and i is equal to emf divided by r plus g it is right okay so that is equal to that is equal to that is equal to i i can write i can write by putting the value of r and g so here i want to find uh, r only here so here first i will write the data as ig is equal to how much he has given 1 milli ampere 1 into 10 to the power minus 3 next g g is equal to 10 ohm already he has given galvanometer resistance 10 ohm he has given so just to use this value and find the value of r here so that r is equal to directly i will write just to simplify it 2490 oh we will get right simple it is simple here here he is asking to find resistance required to convert it into voltmeter so let r be the resistance to convert it into voltmeter reading so here what we have done in order to convert how much this much of volt 2.5 volt in order to convert it into voltmeter up to 2.5 we have this formula with the help of this formula and with this given data we will get r is equal to this so our option is 2490C option right next question ok the driver cell of potentiometer has an EMF 2 volt and negligible internal resistance the potentiometer wire has a resistance of 5 ohm and 1 meter long say EMF 2 volt he has given and uh, potentiometer wire has a resistance r is equal to 5 ohm he has given length 1 meter he has given the resistance which must be connected in series with the wire with the wire series he has mentioned as to have the potential difference 5 milli volt across the whole wire so he has telling that the resistance which must be connected in series with the wire so is so as to have the potential difference of 5 milli volt across the whole wire right so that so that see here with the help of the given data say in order to have the potential difference in order to have the potential difference 5 milli volt in order to 
have potential difference of 5 millivolt 5 millivolt that is equal to 5 into 10 to the power minus 3 volt it is across the resistance of 5 ohm right the current flow in the wire is the current flow in the wire is r is equal to 5 into 10 to the power minus 3 divided by 5 so this gives 1 into 10 to the power minus 3 we will get here right this is what we got current with the help of this potential okay okay what is our aim the resistance which must be connected in series with the wire so as to have potential difference so how much resistance we have to connect so if if r is the resistance to be connected in series if r is the resistance to be connect in series right okay okay i is equal to again e divided by r plus r so we know that 2 divided by r plus 5 is equal to 1 into 10 to the power minus 3 current i is equal to e divided by r plus small r right so r our aim is to find this r so r is equal to by simplifying r is equal to 1995 ohm we will get hence our option is third option right i hope you are getting these are very simple and direct questions try to understand in an easy manner however our aim is to find resistance resistance here so for this first i want current so first i have uh, find out the current here i is equal to then i have used this current in in this formula i is equal to e divided by r plus r in this formula so this becomes r is equal to right okay next an electric heater has two coils when one coil is connected to the ac mains the water in the kettle boils in 10 minutes water in the kettle boils in 10 minutes concentrate here when the other coil is used when the other coil is used the same quantity of water takes 15 minutes to boil how long will it take for the same quantity of water same quantity of water to boil if two coils are connected in parallel concentrate here an electric kettle has two coils two coils one coil has connected to it mains the water in the kettle it has taken 10 minutes to boil other coil is used another one other coil is used the same quantity of water takes 15 minutes okay if we use if we use two coils by connecting in parallel how long how long will it take to boil this is the question right okay now i am going to use both the coils in parallel now i am going to find how much time it will take to boil right by taking a single by taking one coil uh, once it was taken as a 10 minutes and the, uh, once it one has taken as 15 minutes by using both the coils how much time it will take to boil that i want to find here this is the question okay here we have the here we have the formula let h be the let h be the amount of heat energy needed to boil let h be the amount of heat energy is needed to boil okay amount of heat energy is needed to boil then if r1 and r2 are the resistance and v is applied voltage then then we have the formula heat produced or 
heat loss E is H is equal to V square T divided by R. So here we have two coils and we have two resistance R1 and R2. So for that I will mention for the first case of T1 and R1 and that is equal to V square T2 divided by R2. Right? So this equation I can also written as R2 by R1 is equal to T2 by T1. T2 by T1. So that is equal to substitute the values 15 divided by 10 that is equal to 3 divided by 2. Right? Okay. When the coils are connected in parallel, see this is the case what it is R2 by R1. R2 by R1. For the first coil 10 minutes, for the second coil 15 minutes, R2 by R1. And both the coils having individual resistance, so R2 by R1 is equal to 3 by 2 we got. Now I will connect both the coils in parallel. Now we will see how much time it has taken. Okay. When, when it is connected in parallel, when it is connected in parallel, when it is connected in parallel, we have the formula 1 by R is equal to 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2. Then by writing also written as R is equal to formula R1 R2 divided by R1 plus R2. Right? This is the formula we have here. Now, if this is the resistance, this is what resistance when two coils are connected in parallel. Now, let, let us find the time. If if T is the time to boil when they are connected in time, T is a time taken to boil water. Okay, formula again, again V square T1. Okay, instead of T1, I will write T only. Nothing it is. V square T divided by R. This is initial. Next. Now this time I will write V square T1 divided by R1. I will write. So individual notations. Now I want to find T. I want to find T. So find the value of T here. So by simplifying the value of T in this equation. In this equation. So formula becomes like this that step becomes t is equal to t is equal to t1 r by r1 so substitute the value of r and r1 here we have the value of r right here we have the value of r use that value and simplify it so finally we will get 6 minute right you try it you try and uh, T also we have here T1 also we have so just to use the values and cancel the terms and simplify it T is equal to 6 minutes we will get right ok so that by connecting both the coils in parallel so water will start boils in 6 minutes right ok Next, 12 volt, 24 watt tungsten filament bulb is supplied the current from n number of cells connected in series. n cells connected in series. Each cell has an EMF 1.5 volt and internal resistance 0.25. What is the value of n? What is the value of n in order to in order that the bulb runs at its rated power right so value of n here i want to find right okay we know that we know that say 12 volt and 24 watt he has given and each cell having 1.5 volt and internal resistance 0.25 he has given so we know that W watt is equal to V into I. We know this. So therefore, 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 I is equal to 
W divided by V that is equal to 24 divided by 12. So that is equal to I can write 2 and the uh, current we got here. So current we got. Okay, terminal voltage in each cell first. Okay, next terminal voltage. Terminal voltage in each cell. Here he has given each cell as an EMF. EMF of each cell he has given. Terminal voltage we want here. So terminal voltage V is equal to EMF minus I into R. So that so that 1.5 this is EMF and 0.25 internal resistance into I. I value we got 2. So by multiplying, simplifying this, we got 1.0 volt. Right? Resistance of the bulb R is resistance of bulb. R is equal to resistance R is equal to 12 volt divided by 2 ampere current is equal to 6 ohm right so that now see this is what 6 ohm it is how much uh, terminal voltage we got here 1.0 is the terminal voltage of the each cell now that I will apply for the n number of cells. Therefore, therefore, n into those cells 1.0 volt, 1.0 volt divided by 6. Right? Voltage divided by resistance. That gives current. Current is equal to how much we have? 2 we have. So n is equal to, n is equal to we will get 12. So, in order 12, we got here 12, right? Okay, I hope you are getting this. Okay, ninth one. Okay, a coin is embedded in a block of ice placed in an insulated box. If a current of 1.0 ampere is passed through the coil by applying the potential difference of 210 volt across it, the amount of ice melted in one hour. In one hour. One hour is equal to 3600 seconds. Okay, this is given. Okay, now heat produced h is equal to v i into t right divided by resistance right okay that is equal to say that is equal to amount of our aim is to find amount of ice melted in one hour okay Okay, just you substitute the values 210 into 1 into time 3600 divided by 4.2. I am going this is uh, this becomes so this heat it will be heat produced or heat which will be in uh, what it is uh, it will be in joule that I want to write in calorie so that I have divided by 4.2 to convert it. So this will become one eight zero triple zero. So once you check it, so therefore, therefore now eighty calorie is eighty calorie is required to eighty calorie is required to melt melt one gram of one gram of ice. So therefore, one eight zero 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 divided by eighty is equal to two two five zero gram. We got gram to write in kg. That becomes two point two five kg. We will get here. So once you also check it, two point two five kg, right? So in one hour, 
say amount of ice is melted in 1 hour is 2.25 kg of amount of uh, 2.25 kg of ice will melt in 1 hour it is okay next an electric bulb has a rating of 500 watt comma 100 watt 100 volt it is okay 500 watt and 100 volt he has given it is used in a circuit having 200 volt supply what resistance must be connected in series with the bulb so that it delivers 500 watt to deliver 500 watt how much resistance is required let r be the resistance to deliver 500 watt so consider okay say so our aim is to find our aim is to find r only so let us assume this is the formula here here we have e divided by r plus r1 or smaller you can take no problem but anyhow here i want to find value of r only so what is the resistance must be connected in series with the bulb so for that i want to know the value of i here right so first i'm going to find the value of i first i'm going to find the value of i as well as r1 also r1 also later i can substitute the value of i and r1 here so first i will do i so current flowing in the bulb of 500 watt current flows in bulb bulb of 500 watt operating at operating at 100 volt 100 volt so we know the formula i is equal to 500 watt divided by 100 right right okay 500 watt divided by 100 volt that we got current that is equal to 5 ampere right so this is the formula we have used here i is equal to w divided by v i have used this okay now resistance of the bulb is bulb is resistance of the bulb is is 100 divided by 5 that is equal to 20 ohm that i will call it as r1 value so take it as r1 value now use this formula so i is equal to e divided by r plus r1 so that is equal to that is equal to 200 divided by r plus r1 means 20 i will use so simplify and find the value of so i means finally what we have here so this implies i will write so this implies that is equal to i i is equal to how much we have 5 we have so find the value of r so r is equal to r is equal to 20 ohm we will get here just to simplify it right so 20 ohm we will get here right okay next see two identical cells of 1.5 volt each connected in parallel provides provide a supply to an external circuit consisting of two resistors of 7 ohm it is it is not 70 7 ohm each joined in parallel each joined in parallel right a very high resistance voltmeter reads the terminal voltage of the cell to be 1.4 volt what is the internal resistance of the each cell 
internal resistance of each cell okay resistance are in parallel combination say resistance are in parallel combination resistance are in parallel that is equal to how much he has given 7 ohm he has given 7 ohm he has given resistor is r is equal to so resistor r is equal to 3.5 right right since external voltage is external voltage how much it become how much he has given here that is equal to 1.5 Four volt. Okay. Now current in the circuit. This, this is the data. Now current in the circuit. Let us see. Current in the circuit I is equal to. This is current in the circuit I is equal to 1.4 volt divided by resistance. How much it is? Resistance is 3.5. Right. That is equal to. 0.4 ampere this is current in the circuit now now current through each cell current through each cell current through each cell i is equal to again this is 1 uh, i divided by 2 current i is equal to So that is equal to we will get 0.2 ampere. Now this is we have the current through the circuit and through the each cell we got the current. Now let R be the internal resistance. Here we our aim is to find internal resistance of each cell. So let R be the internal resistance of each cell, each cell. Then potential drop to find the internal resistance we also know potential difference. Now we got current. Along with that, we should know we should know potential difference also. So by by multiplying those two current time, uh, that is potential difference, we will get internal resistance. Okay. So potential difference potential difference across potential difference across across R is R is one point five. Here we have. We got this 1.5 minus 1.4. That is equal to what is the difference? 0.1 volt is the difference. Therefore, therefore, here I will write. Therefore, therefore, 0.2 R is equal to 0.1. So R is equal to R is equal to 0.5 ohm. 0.5 ohm it is, right? This is let R be the internal resistance. So the potential difference is 1.5 minus uh, 1.4. So that means. Uh, 0.2 into R is equal to that is equal to 0.1, so R is equal to 0.5 volt here, right? Okay. Similarly, next, say this uh, figure. Next, okay. So just to observe this. Okay. The resistance network shown in the figure. See, just observe the figure here. The connected in battery of 30 volt. See, this figure is related to this question. This question. So observe here. Okay, the resistance. See, the resistance network shown in the figure is connected to a battery of EMF 
30 volt having an internal resistance of 1 ohm what is the voltage drop across the 2 ohm resistor this figure is given for this question right so the, don't think this question is given to this right okay now our aim is to find voltage drop across 2 ohm in this figure right okay okay say resistance are connected in parallel here our aim is to find what is the voltage drop across the 2 ohm okay say for this for this resistance these resistors are in parallel so 1 by r is equal to 1 by 12 plus 1 by 6 plus 1 by 4 by simplifying r is equal to you will get 2 ohm so r one equal to i will take right okay the total resistance in the circuit becomes total resistance in circuit total resistance r is equal to r1 plus 2 with this r1 plus 2 that is equal to 4 ohm right therefore the current in the circuit is we know the formula i is equal to e divided by r plus r so use this and substitute the values 30 divided by 4 plus 1 that is equal to 6 ampere I hope you are getting right okay what is our aim our aim is to find voltage drop across 2 ohm so voltage drop across 2 ohm is 2 ohm is across 2 ohm is V is equal to 2 into 6 2 into 6 that is equal to 12 volt across 2 volt right voltage drop across the 2 ohm it is across 2 ohm right so that this is our answer here next question ok question number 13 Just to observe the figures. Okay, once I will draw the figure here. Once I will draw the figure. Uh, this was the figure. Okay, here it was 12, it was 6, 4, and uh, R is equal to 1 ohm here and E is equal to 30 volt ok so in this figure uh, in the question number 12 what is the terminal voltage ok what is the terminal voltage we know the formula to find the terminal voltage say voltage drop across 2 ohm is say voltage drop across 2 ohm is 12 volt we got voltage drop across 2 ohm is 12 volt we got 12 volt since the resistance of the parallel combination is also 2 ohm since resistance of parallel combination is 2 ohm right ok voltage drop across the combination is also 12 so that so that now the total voltage drop across the network is 
total voltage drop across the network is across the network is equal to 12 plus 12 that is equal to 24 volt this is the terminal voltage of the battery is 24 terminal voltage of the battery terminal voltage of the battery of battery is is 24 volt it is right okay so that here b option right okay next question number 14 14 also For the fourteen in question number twelve, what is the voltage drop across the internal resistance? Okay, this figure is not related to this. Say this fourteen question is for the twelfth question only. It is just to remember the question. Just to remember the question. Voltage drop across the battery. However, see voltage drop across voltage. He he was given thirty voltage. Drop across, across voltage drop across battery is 30. He was given and uh, 24. My I will take a terminal velocity under that 24 is the terminal velocity. So that remaining it is 6 volt. So that C option. Right. Next question. Question number fifteen. Say for this question, this is the figure. Okay, for this question, this is the figure. Say what is the steady state current in the two ohm resistor? Shown in the figure, the internal resistance of the battery is negligible, and capacitance C is equal to 0.5 microfarad. Okay, he is asking to find steady current in 2 ohm resistor. Here, figure he has given, right? 2 ohm. This is 3 ohm, 5 ohm. Also, 2 he has given, right? Okay. This is the uh, 2.8 years given. 2.8. Okay. Our aim is to find steady current. Okay. See here, the resistors are in parallel combination. 2 ohm and 3 ohm. They are connected in parallel. So, 2 and 3 ohm are in parallel. So it becomes how much it is? R is equal to how much it becomes 1.2 ohm. 1.2 ohm. See resistance that this resistance is in series with the 2.8. So this become after simplifying this this resistor new resistance in series with this 2.8. Right? 2.8. This 1.2 ohm resistance is in series with 2.8 so that the total effective resistance is equal to effective resistance how much it is 1.2 plus 2.8 that is equal to 4.0 ohm right in the steady in the say in steady state no current flows Say what is the steady state current in the two ohm? So in the steady state, no current flows through the capacitor C. Through the capacitor C. Hence, no current passes through five ohm. Hence, no current passes through this five ohm. So that, so that, say hence the current. Through the circuit is I is equal to current through the circuit is I is equal to how much it is six divided by four 
is equal to 1.5 ampere right okay therefore potential drop across a b is 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 equal to 1.5 into 1.2 that is equal to 1.8 volt right hence the current through the 2 ohm hence current through the current i through 2 ohm is is equal to 1.8 divided by 2 right potential voltage current is equal to this voltage divided by resistance that is equal to how much we got 0.9 ampere this is what current through 2 ohm to find the current current i is equal to v by r so voltage first we want to find potential difference across a b so a b we have done here right a b we have done that is with the help of this to find the potential potential across a b we should know the current so the here we got current here 1.5 that I have multiplied with 1.2 resistance. So voltage and current we got potential. With the help of that uh, current through the 2 ohm we got 0.9 ampere. Right? Okay, next. Okay, see here. Question number Okay, see here sixteen A battery consists of three cells of EMFs two point two volt two point zero volt and one point eight of internal resistance. 0.5 ohm, 0.7 ohm, and 0.8 ohm, respectively, connected in series. The battery is connected to an external resistance 4.0 ohm, a very low resistance emitter. What is the emitter rating? What is the emitter rating? Okay, emitter rating means I is equal to question mark. So for that, see, three cells can be in series. So total EMF, total EMF, they are connected in series. No, so total EMF E is equal to sum of all 2.2 plus 2.0 plus 1.8. That is equal to 6.0 volt. It is right. Total internal resistance. Already he has given so total internal resistance R is equal to 0 0.5 plus 0 0.7 plus 0 0.8 that is equal to 2.0 ohm. Now we have the formula. Now I want to find the emitter reading when the battery is connected. To external resistance R is equal to 4 ohm, right? When we connect it with 4 ohm, when the battery connected with 4 ohm, I is equal to E divided by R plus R, right? Okay, so now I will substitute 6 divided by 4 plus 2 is equal to 1.0 ampere, right? This is the solution. Next question. Next question is also similar to the question number 16 only. Similar to the question number 16 only. See, 
this figure is not related to this okay a battery of emf 12 volt and internal resistance 0.5 ohm is charged by a battery charger which supplies a 132 volt dc supply using a series resistance of 11.5 ohm what is the terminal voltage of the battery during charging terminal voltage so we know the formula terminal voltage during charging means emf minus ir during discharging it becomes plus that's all okay to find the terminal voltage here i want to know the value of i so first i will find the value of i so i is equal to e divided by r plus r under that e value we don't know here we did not give so i will find the value of e also so given r is equal to how much is given 0 0.5 ohm right so capital r is equal to 11.5 ohm right so for charging positive terminal of the charger is connected to the positive terminal of the battery therefore effective emf is effective effective emf e is equal to 132 132 minus 12 that is equal to that i will write 120 ohm right correct in the circuit so to find the terminal rotation i we want so current in the circuit i is equal to e divided by r plus r with the help of this with the help of this we will get i value 120 divided by 11.5 plus 0 0.5 he has given this so 10 ampere we will get here now this formula therefore terminal voltage v is equal to emf minus i r sorry this r right okay so emf emf is equal to 12 so during the charging now it is during charging this become plus during charging so i plus i into r i means so i into r i will write 0 0.5 into 10 so that is equal to 17 volt right during charging it is right v is equal to emf plus i into r next Okay, next question. Okay, a old meter reads 3 volt at full scale deflection and is traded as 6000 ohm per volt. What resistance should be connected in series with it so that reads so that it reads 12 volt? at full scale deflection question mark okay okay this question is not related to this this question is for the next question okay now question number 19 see our aim is to find our aim is to find what is the resistance should be connected so r our aim is to find r value right so what he has given 6000 see full scale deflection R is equal to R is equal to 6000 he has given 6000 ohm per volt see ohm per volt into 3.0 3.0 it is so V is equal to V is equal to 
1.8 into 10 to the power minus it is not minus 10 to the power plus 4 ohm it is so it is not ohm it is a value I have given now ok so how much he has given here 3 volt of full width full scale reflection volt per meter ok right see here so here at full scale reflection current through the circuit is I is equal to V by R that is equal to 3.0 volt he has given here divided by 1.8 into 10 to the power 4 1.8 okay uh, that should be value of this is the value of r only this okay see here that is equal to 1.6 into 1.67 into 10 to the power minus 4 this is correct in order to convert this into C in order to convert this into the what it is what is what is the resistance should be connected in series with its with it is so that it reads 12 volt at full scale reflection right okay so that here connected with the series of 12 volt 12 volt to read 12 volt in order to read it 12 volt r dash is equal to v dash we have the formula to convert it into volt meter reads right volt meter reads so i minus r this formula we know so with the help of this 12 divided by current 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 4 minus resistance 1.8 into 10 to the power 4 so that is equal to 5.4 into 10 to the power 4 ohm right so this is okay now we will do the last question and the many questions we will do in the next class almost the time is maximum ok uh, this is the last question and remaining questions we will do in the next class see a DC millimeter has a resistance 12 ohm and gives full scale deflection for a current 0 0.01 ampere to convert it into volt meter giving full scale deflection of 3 volt the resistance required to be put in series with the instrument is ok what is our aim our aim is to find resistance only here so here we have the formula r is equal to v naught divided by ig minus g ok values here we given substitute minus 12 so that is equal to 288 you will get right so this is second option ok uh, remaining questions we will do in the next class thank you